<laughs> let's try that again. Um, thank you all for being here. We're really excited. And um, it's my honor and privilege to introduce you to our founder and CEO, mm -hmm. who most of you know, Jay Feinberg. Hi, hey, good afternoon, everybody. And thank you for, uh, for joining us for this very exciting occasion. Um, we have uh, Wendy and Steve in the waiting room. Um, as far as we know, Wendy does not know that this is uh, happening, that there's um, 82 people in, uh, in this uh, Zoom party. So uh, what I'd like to do is um, on the count of three, We'll let her into the Zoom call and we're all gonna shout surprise, okay? So everybody can handle that, right? Thumbs up. You got thumbs up? All right, good, good. All right, so on the count of three, one, two, three. Whatever statute or whatever. Let me see if I can find them. Rules. So let that's, that's number one. Uh, let me see if we go for it, Jay. I'm looking for them. Okay. All right. So um, everybody, again, welcome and thank you for joining this uh, incredibly very special milestone celebration for none other than Wendy Siegel and her um, incredible, um, significant other and wonderful husband, Steve. Um, as of last week, uh, Wendy's donor circle officially identified, get ready, it's 1,000th match for patients in need of life-saving bone marrow transplants. Big applause. A lot of people are on mute. Um, we are now, now at 102 because Wendy's donor circle um, just like Wendy herself, just couldn't wait and had to get more in there for this Zoom party to happen. Um, this is an incredible accomplishment and one that so clearly illustrates um, Wendy's um, personality and passionate dedication to paying it forward and helping as many patients as possible. And Wendy is just one of those people that helps everybody anywhere who needs it. And, uh, and Wendy, you are a true warrior and we all love you so much and giving you a virtual hug and hope to see you in person one day soon. Um, First, so I'm coming to hug each of you personally. Okay. That's what we like. <laughs> now, we have to talk about Steve a little bit because no journey like this is possible. I think you'll all agree without our loved ones and caregivers and Steve to all of us is a true superhero. So Steve, we love you, man, you rock. And we say thank you and we love you. And, uh, and we are happy to have you and Wendy on here. Thank you, Jay. Uh, absolutely. I just have a few more quick words. <coughs> Donor Circle is responsible for, wait for it, 85,000 donors in Gift of Life's registry. And every time we increase the size of that database, we improve the chances for patients in need of matches to find them uh, when they need them. Wendy, your generosity has touched so many lives in so many ways, more than you might um, even realize, so many people that you don't even know. Transplants not only give second chances to their recipients, it gives second chances to their families, their friends, their coworkers, their communities, and generations to follow. And donors regularly share with us that giving their cells to perfect strangers is an incredibly meaningful experience. And we've been told time and time again that people um, who donate their cells feel that it's changed their lives and their outlook on life in such positive ways, sometimes even their career paths. We often quote the Talmud, a uh, line from the Talmud that says, to save one life is saving the world. And Wendy, so many recipients are here today thanks to you and you and Steve are just so incredible. One special, very, uh, one very special recipient is someone you know well. Um, his name is Rory, who is joining us all the way from Edinburgh, Scotland. Rory was just nine years old when he was diagnosed with a rare form of leukemia. His donor, Chris, didn't hesitate to give his marrow one year later, and the pair was able to meet in New York City at the Gift of Life Gala held on War World Marrow Donor Day. Um, today, Rory is 17 years old and an accomplished so much in life, but I will let you, uh, I will let him tell um, his story about all of that. Please welcome Rory. 
Thanks, Jay. I'm really happy to join you in celebration of Wendy today and the thousandth donor she helped make possible. It's such a special moment, especially for me personally. My transplant was only possible thanks to Wendy's generosity and it means a lot to me to be able to say thanks. Since then, I've been able to do so much thanks to my transplant, which was only possible because of Wendy, my donor Chris, and Gift of Life. And today, as a thanks to Wendy, we're going to celebrate with an amazing surprise. We're going to share in the most treasured Gift of Life experience, a donor recipient meeting. Today on the call with us today, we have two special strangers who have the ultimate connection, and they're about to meet for the first time. To make this introduction, we have an important guest who you know very well. It's your daughter, Cassie, and son-in-law, Alex. Please oh, wow. welcome Cassie and Alex now. Thank you, Rory. It's wonderful to see you. We're so happy to hear about all the wonderful things that you've been doing. Um, introducing today's donor and recipient is truly a treat for us because it allows us to celebrate my mom. Um, in honor of today's milestone. So to start, we'd like to welcome Sherry to the screen. Sherry's joining us from Stanwood, Washington, which is about 50 miles south of Seattle. Welcome, Sherry. Thank you. Thank you. And it's good to be here. <laughs> so good to have you. Thank you so much for joining us today. This is truly such an exciting moment. How are you feeling right now? <sighs> Other than emotional, <laughs> I feel really good. I've been really lucky. I've come through this so easily compared to a lot of people. And uh, and now I'm at um, 16 Six, months. 16 months since transplant. Yeah, and I'm doing just better all the time. That's so, incredible. It's been quite an experience. And um, I went through a lot in the last few years with the polycythemia and then going into myelofibrosis. And that was 16 years total. And then, then finally, um, doctor came up and said, you got to have, you had got to have a stem cell transplanter or you won't make it. And so I did and um, I am just thriving and uh, my husband and I, I'm 71 years old and my husband's 73 and to be able to have, be able to be this well in this part of our lives is just a miracle. So I guess I should say thank you, Wendy. Uh -huh. <laughs> you look amazing. You should just keep feeling amazing. Enjoy the journey. <laughs> so for those that don't know, polycythemia cythemia is a slow growing blood cancer where the bone marrow makes too many red blood cells. And in Sherry's case, the condition worsened which, and then transformed into mouth fibrosis, which is a type of bone marrow cancer. Um, and Sherry, I know that your family members were extremely disappointed when they learned that they were not able to donate to you. We had a very similar situation with my mom. Yes. Um, and I guess, you know, we were all so fortunate that Gift of Life was able to identify a match so quickly. Yes. Um, and so a good I, match. It was a really good match. You matched 17 out of 18 markers, they said. I don't know if you want to tell us a little bit about how you felt when the cells arrived for your transplant. I know that that's a really incredible moment. Well, it was three o'clock in the morning and they told me the night before when I went to bed, which I couldn't sleep, but they um, told me that it was coming. So I knew. So being that we live in Washington, I thought she must live in Washington because it was so quick. But um, three o'clock in the morning, I was getting stem cells. And so it was great. It really was and uh, uh, exciting to know how that could make your body so much better. And, and it was, it was just amazing how I, I thought, well, would I be sick from it? I wasn't, you know, I just, it just took time. I was weak, 
you know, but as a whole, the family was very exciting too. And we had gone through this with my son who was a donor um, a few years before. And so um, it was even more exciting being at the other end of it. And, um, and of course he was very excited, but um, it, it was just, um, I, I expected to not feel good and I, I was feeling fine. So that was really surprising. <laughs> so we're really excited um, that you're gonna get to meet your donor and we really appreciate your, your willingness to do that um, on screen today to, to help uh -huh. honor my mom and surprise her. Um, so Alex is gonna tell you a little bit about your donor. So Cher, your donor is 26 years old. She's originally from Longwood, Florida near Orlando. Um, and currently lives in Philadelphia, where she is studying to become a podiatrist. Uh, she joined the registry in 2016 when Kim Kardashian tweeted an appeal uh, when she saw the star was helping for a search for a friend of her own for her own match. Um, your donor requested the swab kit, which was sent to her home, and funding for her kit came from Wendy's donor circle. Oh. Soon enough, she got the call that she was your miracle match. Uh, the cell collection came at a difficult time, packed with lots of exams and holidays, but her school made it easy for her to do whatever she needed to do. Your donor also credits Gift of Life staff, who she describes as true professionals who expertly answered her questions, made her feel at ease, and worked around her schedule to make the transplant possible. Now that she has been through the process, she would do it again without hesitation and wants to encourage others to join the registry as well. Friends and family, we're so proud of her selfless act that they too have swabbed their cheeks and volunteered to be donors themselves. She is thrilled to have the chance to meet you today and wants to apologize for passing along her awful seasonal allergies. <laughs> oh, not too bad. It's not been, not been bad. So Jerry, we are so thrilled to introduce you to your hero today. So please welcome your donor, Amanda. I'm already crying. Oh, <laughs> hi, Amanda. It's so good to meet you. It's nice to meet you, too. I wasn't going to cry. <laughs> you started talking, and I'm just so grateful. You know, the Kardashians, we all say what we need to say about them. But I'm so happy you're doing well. I really am. I am. I'm, I'm just amazed. I mean, through this whole thing, it, I came through it pretty darn easy. I get cold easier, but okay. other than that, that's Sorry. what I'm gonna live with. But you know, I, I had a questionnaire. They asked me what I thought your occupation was, and I said a nurse, so I was close. You most of my like, family. <laughs> isn't that something? Mm -hmm. But, and um, it is amazing what this can do. And I was just at awe through the whole thing of, what comes up with, with um, your, you know, I wish I knew, had known more about you, but um, it was really something to hear um, uh, just those three things about your allergies and that you're 25. <laughs> that was even a good feeling. Do you have a and, cat? Pardon? Do you have a cat? We do. Yeah. We do have allergies. Back, the cat was sleeping when I, I went back to bed for a few minutes this morning and the cat was sleeping next to me. Good. So it didn't really bother me that much at all. And um, so maybe I didn't get that allergy. I don't know. I don't know, but um, I did good. I don't know about the bees yet. How, how about the bees? Are, are you- Not bees, wasp. Wasp and how, are you allergic very seriously or? Um, I've only been bitten once. My hand was a baseball glove, so I would recommend avoid some, you know, some spray in your house. Uh huh. Yeah, we have wasp around here, but I haven't ever been stung by a wasp before, so I don't know, you know, how I'd react to it now. Well, I'm so happy you're doing good. I'm so happy I finally got to meet you. I've always wondered, you know. Yeah. Who you were. Yeah, I'm actually thriving. I, I, um, keep up the house and I cook all our meals. And I mean, I just live normally, you know, I, I walk um, 
some, but I'm a little weaker. Take a couple more naps, but not that much, really. I can go through a whole day without a nap easily. And um, so I feel like I've been really lucky. We're actually talking about going on a camping trip, which we've been pretty isolated, but it's really not, you know, it's from this, but it's also from the COVID thing that, you know, we have been this isolated. So um, trying to not take any chances when we've gotten this far and done so well, I want to stay that way. <laughs> a month ago, the doctors finally gave us permission that we could hug our kids and our grandkids. Oh. That, was, that, was, that was hard going all that time, not getting to hug our kids or grandkids. Yeah. That's, that's incredible. Um, Sherry and Amanda, I can't thank you guys enough. And Casey and Alex, thank you for doing the intro. Um, this is so incredible. The most special thing at Gift of Life is when we get to witness a donor and recipient meeting. And uh, Sherry and Amanda, you guys are actually going to, we're going to give you your own private room so you can have some time to chat amongst yourselves. But we have still more surprises left for Wendy. Um, I'm so honored to be able to be celebrating with you, Wendy, today. Um, first of all, on a personal note, I love you. I miss you. I'm inspired by you every day. We love you so, so much. And you are a true warrior. Um, and, you know, I, I could go on and on and on, but I have a few other people on the call that want to share just how they feel about you as well. Um, John Kane is on his honeymoon in Hawaii, and he is a donor who wanted to say a share. He wanted to share a few words. John? Hi, thank you so much for having me. Um, you can see over here some palm trees. Uh, it's 8 a.m. here in Maui, coming to you live um, from my honeymoon. But uh, when uh, when some you know, Robin gave a toast um, to just say how grateful I am as a representative of the 85,000 uh, members of the registry who joined because of you, as well as 1,000 matches. Um, I, I couldn't pass that up uh, no matter what. So I'm um, so thankful for you that I got to have this experience, which uh, absolutely was life-changing for me. Um, I still keep up with the Bosch Coast, although, you know, obviously, unfortunately, Stephen uh, passed, but um, was able to give him some wonderful additional years of his life. And um, that's because of you. But, you know, my situation is one of a thousand. Uh, and it's only been, a, you know, a certain number of years. So 85,000 on the registry. And, give it some time, there will continue to be more matches and more people joining all because of you. So um, incredibly appreciative uh, that I've had this life changing experience. Um, and, you know, I speak for so many others uh, who, who want to say thank you to you. Thank you, John. Enjoy Happy. the rest of your vacation. Happy honeymoon. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. Um, I now have Maddie who would like to say a few words. Maddie. Hi. Maddie. There we I'm go. Here. Um, actually, I'm in the same room as you. Uh, I see that. <laughs> I just want to say, I mean, this is such a big accomplishment. I'm actually cramming for finals. I'm in grad school, but this is so important to me, what you've done. That <coughs> I had to make the time to be here. Not as big as, you know, being on my honeymoon, but <laughs> than being in Hawaii than doing finals. I just want to say how grateful I am for this experience. I mean, I literally, I feel like I've won the lottery. Like when I got that call that I was a 100% match for somebody battling blood cancer like there's really like I feel like my life is complete there's nothing else I needed to do I mean except I I do um I've I already wanted to be a healthcare worker so it didn't change me in that way but the change that happened in me is that I'm now trying to be involved with gift of life uh hope to someday get half as many people in the registry as you, maybe a quarter, uh, um, anything would be great. So I'm trying to help people join the registry since as much as I would love to donate again, I realize I'm lucky to have had the chance to do it once and I'm probably not gonna be called as a match. So my goal is to help others join the registry and hope that someday, someday I help join will be called as a match and can save lives that way. So thank you so much for everything you've done for this great organization. Thank you, Maddie. Good luck on your finals, Maddie. Good luck. Uh, I, and now I have Kelvin um, from 
who got tested in Canada. Uh, Kelvin, you, you saved the life of a 10 year old little girl. Yeah, so um, she was around five-ish back then. And coincidentally, my daughter was also five. So once I got the notification that I was a match, I looked to my girl and I'm like, I cannot deny anyone of the same opportunity to hug a sweet little girl. Uh, so I took the opportunity, donated, and I believe she is doing very well now. Um, the recipient should be recovering very well. And I'm grateful for that. And I think um, my whole family sees that as a great um, opportunity for me. And uh, I myself enjoy the whole experience. Uh, although it was painful because it did involve uh, flying in, getting the opportunity, getting the uh, operation done and then flying back. Um, but I uh, recovered quickly and thankfully the recipient also uh, recovered quickly with uh, the donation as well. So I'm very grateful. Thanks well, for the opportunity. Thank you, Kelvin. We really appreciate you coming to share your story and, and, and joining us today. And um, I also have a very special guest who just met her, her donor for the very first time, Rashan. Rashan, are you out there? Ah, there you are. Hi, Rashan. <laughs> How are you guys doing, everyone? Thank you. Um, Wendy, I do appreciate your acts of kindness. Um, the gift of life is forcing me to try things outside of my comfort zone, especially just speaking in publicly right now. So <laughs> bear with me. <laughs> um, I just wanted to share that this transplant has really just like saved my life. I got it um, in June of 2019. Since then, it's been um, a steady um, progression to better health. Um, I'm taking my meds every day and walking daily. Um, I've been able to reconnect with friends and family. I've been practicing through this journey. Patience was a big thing before this, and I've learned some, and I am definitely putting it to practice as I raise, um, my husband and I raise um, our son. He's an adolescent. Oh, goodness, adolescent. Um, and so um, I just wanted to say I am just grateful beyond words for the selflessness gift. Um, that you organized that has allowed me to continue my life journey today. Thank you. You're on mute, Wendy. Up. Oh. I said, stay well, you look beautiful. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you, Rashad, for joining us. Um, and now I, I think you know these two people pretty well, Steve and Wendy, um, Casey and Jared. Um, have a few words, go ahead. <laughs> Mom, we love you. We're so proud of everything you have done to help ensure that others have a path forward and have viable treatment options available. It's also fitting that Mother's Day is right around the corner. Today, we are all celebrating you as an amazing human, superhuman, mother, advocate, supporter, warrior, and this year, a grandmother too. We love you, mom, and we look forward to continuing to support you in all of the amazing things that you will do. Love you guys, oh my gosh. We love you. We love you. Thank you, love you. Oh, and now I think Steve, dad, would like to say a few words as well. Um, wow, I didn't know that, but I will. Um, I don't know what can, what I can say that I haven't already said about um, the bravery of Wendy and her own battles, but more important than her own battles, the focus on the health and the ability to create this wonderful fund and, and that matches her swab mob and all the people that we have to thank that rallied around her uh, to gather swabs and and uh, the matches and the transplants are just overwhelming. Uh, the people stepped up with donations and allowed these, mat these uh, swabs to be tested and create the thousand plus matches that we now have. And this all started with her telling me to get my butt in gear while she was lying there. Sorry, getting chemo. And she said, you gotta go something. 
started out that they're giving me a lot of blood, go do a blood drive and get it done right away. And at that blood drive, the first 585 swabs were taken. And now, as Jay said, 85,000. And hopefully there'll be hundreds of more matches and tens of thousands of swabs and God knows as many transplants as possible. So thank you, Wendy. You're a true hero to so many. And as Jay said, to save a life, to save the world. Well, you're actually saving a good portion of the world. So thank you. And <laughs> We're in the same room. <laughs> <laughs> And you know, as you guys were speaking, I don't know if you heard this, that you um, actually had another transplant. Speaking of saving another life, uh, you just saved the life of a 48 year old woman battling uh, acute my, uh, AML. So I, um, I, that just happened literally while we started the Zoom call. And um, that's fitting. That's what Wendy's, that's what Wendy's leukemia was, is, was, was. thank goodness. Wild. Well, I, um, I really, we love you guys. And on behalf of all of us at Gift of Life, you are inspiring. You are incredible. We love you. And uh, Jay, do you want to add anything else? <laughs> I, I do. Oh, go ahead, Wendy, please. May I? Yeah. Um, needless to say, I knew nothing about this. And what an amazing, very, very precious surprise. I want to thank everybody. And I don't want to sound the least bit cliche, but I have to say a few things that have carried me on this journey. Number one, I'm sitting in a field of heroes and that's all of you. I, w I don't know who's on the call right now. I know it's all people I love. If I don't know you, I know I'm gonna love you. And just the fact that you're here, um, as I've said many times, you're not a hero because you end up having a condition or a disease or a sickness, um, you're a hero because you take whatever's given to you and you do something meaningful with it that really can change a life, change the world. There's an incredible irony that the night that I met my donor was in front of about 1300 people at the Hyatt. It was an amazing night. Um, a lot of the real estate industry was there and to have them be quiet and not be on their phones unto itself is such an accomplishment. And everybody was just focused in. And that evening, unbeknownst to all of us, my match, I met Mordecai Weiss, got up, he had a speech. He had never spoken publicly before. And he got up and said, to save one life is to save the world. And I had a medal made for him that I put on him that night. And it said, he who saves the life of one as if he has saved the world. So we were very connected from the beginning. And I, I have to say that there really, as, as people who've gone through it know, there's really no way to explain what it is to have your life given back to you or given in a way that you probably would not be there. And I have to, first of all, really thank my children God knows I could not do this without you. you. You are amazing. And from the very beginning, we just, after I figured out how to spell leukemia, we got on the journey and we just took this, this ride together. And I thank them every day, verbally or in my heart. My husband, for the first time, I asked him, I told him I needed him to do something and it didn't follow with yes, dear. Um, Steve became chairman of the board of gift of life recently, which I think is so fitting. And I know that he's brought so much to just keeping this mission that we have. From day one, I said that if I could get through this, I will dedicate my life every day in some way to either helping with the drive. Um, I love the moment that I was able to physically go out and do some drives. I did a couple around New York and we always had sort of a contest to see who could get the most people to come in and swab. And at the end, I always won. And people always said, that's not fair. You get to tell people I had the disease, I had the transplant, but I figured that was okay since I did. Um, it's been an amazing journey. Just the idea medically that this has been accomplished is so incredible, but the spiritual connection of bringing the community together is so amazing. And it shows who we are as people. And no matter how hard 
our communities get and the year had gotten for us. Um, it just shows you that incredible, amazing, important things continue to happen every day. I love when people would say, do you need anything? And I'd say, if you really want to do something, clear one swab and um, that's a life that has the possibility of being saved. And we continue to do that every day. But I cannot get off of this call without saying that I cannot be called a hero. I'm just doing my assignment along with all of you. This is such a community effort. Just this, this call right now just shows that we are people together who make a difference collectively um, as we can make a difference individually as well. I thank each and every one of you. It, it's hard to imagine. Um, Steve's right, I looked up one day, I was getting platelets and I was getting blood. And I just started to cry so much thinking that my life was being kept alive because of other people's single acts of kindness. And that is what Gift of Life is about every single solitary day. For my birthday a few years ago, Steve asked me what I wanted to do for my birthday and I was still in the throes of treatment. And I said, I would like to go visit Gift of Life in Florida. I'd like to see what it's really all about. And we took a trip and we went to see um, everybody at the office, got to meet everybody. I was never so uh, just impressed and dazzled and amazed at an operation that just had the nicest, kindest, most easygoing people was okay. changing the world in every way. And it's not just about the numbers that we achieve today like the thousandth person or now we're up to a thousand three or four it's about the kind of work and the forward thinking and learning that a cheek swab works as well as a blood sample swab and learning all the things that we continue to do research jay you lead an incredible organization you have changed it in every way you yourself have gone through this and i can only say thank you to everybody for really trying to understand how impacting what we do is gift of life is so worldwide game changing. We're so lucky for that. And we have to continue to do this work every single day. Um, thank you, Jay. And now that we have the new facility, I know it's even better. So I thought I, I had no idea that this, this meeting, I thought it was about the gala or something, but I got this in the mail, this giant kiss that says with love and gratitude. And of course I have to share it because the gratitude goes to all of you, but I'm afraid that it's a little small for how many of you are on the call. So we'll have to send you a little kisses, but kisses for me, I thank you. Please know you are the heroes. You are the ones and every day in the smallest way, it all mounts up to be such a monumental life-changing difference across the world, literally. So Thanks. thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I started- Thank you. Thank you. I started trouble from day one. I just want to tell you all that when I read the um, the head mess on the on the for gift of life, what it says, it says Wendy Siegel, who is battling uh, AML leukemia. And I called Jay and I said, I'm sorry, it said who is suffering with suffering with. And I said, Jay, I'm so sorry, you're going to have to use all that paper for scrap paper. Let's not tell people that they're suffering. Let's tell people they're battling and they've got a whole army of people behind them. And that <coughs> week, Jay had the paper change and it now reads on everybody's so-and-so who is battling this disease. And you know what? It is a, it is a war zone. It's, it's a battlefield, but with all the support and love, you can get through it. I'm grateful every single day. And I look so damn good. I mean, what could be wrong here? So. Thank you, thank everybody. you, everybody. Thank you so much. Thank you for organizing this. So much gratitude, I can't tell you. Thank you. My children, thank you so much, and my husband. And Rob and Jay, everybody there, everyone, thank you. We love you. We love you, Wendy. We love you. Love you everybody all. Everybody can unmute themselves. You can say, you know. Love you, Wendy. Love you, Wendy. Love you, Steve. Love you, Wendy. Love you, Wendy. Love you, Wendell. Great to see you. You're amazing, Wendy. Yes, I recognize all the voices. Love you, Wendy. <laughs> Love you, Sonny. Love you all. Oh, my God, thank you. And guys, keep it going. Just keep it going. Tell one friend, tell one person, yep. clear one swab. And we're, we're just going to keep winning this battle till, as Jay says, till everybody gets their match. 
Love you, love all, you all so much. All right, Jay, you. back to work, Jay. Bye, guys. <laughs> love you. Bye. Thank Bye. you all for coming. Bye. Thank love you so you. much. Thank you. Love Bye. you. Bye. Refreshments at our house if you can get here. <laughs> Wait, I'm on my way. Me Come too. <laughs> love you oh my god robin and jay thank you there's no words i mean you like thank it? you, you like so our much meeting? Wendy. it was <laughs> we'll go virtual <laughs> i knew you didn't want my opinion so i no. i love you guys this is this is this you the superhero <laughs> oh my gosh jay mr mm -hmm. america thank you <laughs> this was you know it's funny how you know that whole thing with hero bothers me but what a nice opportunity to thank everybody there for being the true heroes and i should have given a shout out to rory my little rory who's not so little anymore quite precious i think rory if you're still there you're still, there. You're still, if you're still there. there rory hey, our rory. friendships yeah hi rory hi another another steak for you when you get to new york yeah <laughs> thanks you're so handsome <laughs> yes, I'm talking to you, Rory. You're very <laughs> more importantly, I know you're so talented and you're still playing the piano, right? Yeah. Good for you. <laughs> well, we love you. You're, Thank you're, you. you're one of our Thanks. heroes, too. Thank you, everybody. Have a good rest of the day. Thank God you, bless. Guys. Thank Bye. you. Mwah. Bye. Mwah. Bye. Bye. That was incredible, you guys. Thank you so much. I'm, I'm really overwhelmed by that. Thank you. Well, we just want you to know how much we all love you. And just can't, can't wait to get on an airplane one of these days to see you. Well, please do. Please do. And uh, just want to give you an update. My, my lungs are bringing this transplant, my stem cell transplant right along. So it's all good. It's all good. Yeah. All right. Well, well, I don't know. Are people still on, Jay? Or yeah, there's a, there's a bunch of people. There's uh, 22 people still on. Oh, I see Steve Starkman, who used to who from um, Starkey. Uh, from, yeah. Oh yeah, we love Steve Starkman. Hey, yes. he, Hi, he's he's still here. Congratulations, Wendy and uh, Steve. Hi, Steve. Wow. You what guys, is... you look great. Well. <laughs> Me, thank you. Can I tell yes, you, it you just do. shows you, you whoever lives in your heart stays there. You know, you'll always be in my heart, Starkey. Likewise, both of you, of course. Yeah. Oh, it's incredible. So many Anybody else on? Just shout out! What a what a what an incredible <coughs> thing. Yeah. Anybody who's on, just unmute. Steve, I'm so impressed. You got you got Wendy to the to the meeting. That was a piece of cake. Chris. On time. <laughs> piece On of cake. time. Not a problem. <laughs> I may never recover from that. He said to me, "Could you change your doctor appointment?" I said, "Are you kidding me?" He said, "I'll talk to him about about the gala later." <laughs> My doctor's just going to have to wait. This is just much more important. Uh, uh, are, you glad hey, we were are we able to get the uh, chats that came in? Yes, I will, I, I will get you those chats. I, uh, Greg, are you still there? Can we get the chats that came up? Yes, I just clicked uh, save chat. So we'll uh, have it as a uh, text file for you. Amazing. Thank you so much. Uh, and thank you, Greg, to you and your team. That was, it was flawless. Thank you. Always well, happy to be a part of these. Yes. Hi, it's Claudia. I'm sending love from everyone at National Jewish. Thank you, Claudia. It's so nice to talk to you again today. <laughs> it was really hard to keep this secret. Let me tell you. <laughs> well, what a great secret. We all love you so much. And, and you don't have any idea what, what she does with you guys. She does just as much, if not more, with, with us and so many other organizations. And you're just the best. Thank you so much. You know, it's, it is so hard to hear because even a semi-honest person you know, you could never do this alone. I mean, I really am like that Verizon commercial where the man is facing forward, but there's like, you know, thousands of people behind him. I mean, this is such a community team effort and every single person brings what makes this so possible. And what we do is so life and game changing and it is one life at a time, but it adds up so much. And here we are. I mean, it's just amazing. So 
we've got to all keep it up. And uh, if 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 me being involved can help keep that going, <coughs> I will be on this until that day out there yonder. So, yeah, thank you. Get Thanks, to, everybody. Yep. That's Steve Siegel's way of again ending the call. No, 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 no. Hello to anybody who's on. Hello Thank to anybody who's on. Hey, Barbie. Barbie. Here too saying hi. Barbie. Hey, Barbie. Hey, Barbie. You look great. Thank you. You guys too. You guys were awesome. Don't we need something on England? I can't tell you how much this is. Uh, I think we're we've got how many people? We've we're only down to fifteen people. By the way, you guys, because whoever's on either is really interested in the good dirt or or just doesn't know how to get off the call. But I was going to say that if I knew that this was going to be for me, I would have had somebody come in and do my hair and makeup. Oh, wait, I have no hair. Oh, wait, I don't wear makeup. OK, it's all good. It's all good. Now, I, I, I miss you guys. And one of my real, real desires is to get back to Florida and come down and see you all again. It's such an incredible thing. But I like your chairman. And I think things are going well. Yeah, we like him, too. He's a keeper. Yeah. I see I see that he did his hair and makeup. Yeah, well. I did. I did. I had the barber <laughs> yesterday. I shaved. But he oh, knew wow. about it. So what a, what an amazing surprise. That's true. I did have the advantage of knowing about it. So. <laughs> <laughs> thank you again, Robin. Thank you, Jay. Thank you, Paul. Wow. Thank you, everybody at Gift of Life. Wonderful job. Thank Actually you. surprised her. I could see by her <laughs> face she was grinning the whole time. Uh. I surely am. I really so am. be a memory for the next thousand. Amen, amen. Exactly. And, amen, and, amen. and guys, just before we hang up, I want to say, if I knew I could get this, <laughs> my picture on a tissue box, I want to say it's been worth the journey. Okay? <laughs> I will live in infamy via this. So, but you know, we've, we've had a lot of fun and joy along the way for times that are very, very hard for people. And I'm still on my journey. Um, but that's part of the gift is that reminder that life is very precious and something we never should take for granted, right? Right. So, for sure. Yeah. And All happy right. Mother's Day. Thank you. And same to you. Same to you. How's yeah. Jaden doing? She's doing great. I, I Hopefully uh, you'll get to see her. I know Steve's going to see her on Monday. <laughs> uh, really. I can't wait. I can't Mwah. wait. Love All right. Well. I, Love you guys so much. I don't want to keep you. Thank you. And we'll talk real Thanks soon. Everybody. Thanks, everybody. Bye, guys. Thanks, everybody. Thank you. Bye. Jay, Thanks, thank you always and forever. We love you. Love you, too. Bye. Thank you. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Bye. That was precious. Thank you.